Hi there, my name's Graham Nightingale from TechBytes.com, and before I put you through the pain and suffering of any Excel training, maybe we should ask an important question. Just what is Excel? So, what is Excel? If you're like most people at this stage, you probably thought Excel's a spreadsheet, which is of course correct, but it's not terribly helpful. But if that's your answer, then I guess my next question would have to be, what is a spreadsheet? Now the answer to that is a little trickier, but that's really because we've been asking the wrong question all along. We should have been asking, what can Excel actually do for me? And the answer to that question would be that Excel is pretty good at doing three things. It's good at calculations. That's why people in jobs from finance to scientific research use it for anything from analysing a survey to compiling the results from a clinical trial. And no, you don't need to know anything about clinical trials or surveys for that matter to get plenty of benefits out of Excel. If you enter numbers into an Excel spreadsheet, you can ask Excel to perform all sorts of basic or more advanced calculations. This example shows a spreadsheet being used to manage a very basic budget. Each time an entry is added to the budget, Excel performs a trick called recalculation. This just means it checks to see if the new entry has an effect on any of the existing calculations. If it does, Excel recalculates the answer. Adding a value of 42.65 for Allison under the heading mailing means the total spend for mailing has increased to 146.10, taking them over the budget, unfortunately. On the plus side, the total spend at 559.83 is a little under the budget figure of 590. You might not have noticed that one changing at the same time. Excel's also good at lists. If you keep a record of people, transactions, events, payments, places, in fact, pretty much anything you can think of, Excel makes it easy to make sense of those long lists. With tools like filtering, sorting, and pivot tables, it's good at helping you turn data into information. And yes, there is a difference. This spreadsheet shows a list of invoices received. There are lots of them, but that doesn't really bother Excel. We can sort them. Here, I'm using the date column so I can see the newest one first. But I could also use the amount column to show the most expensive item at the top of the list. Filtering lets me select just the invoices from a particular company. Pivot tables, which will take a little longer to set up, allow me to view a summary of the data in the entire list. Last, but by no means least, Excel is great for producing charts and graphs. If you want to help others to understand a set of numbers, a chart is a very powerful way to communicate this sort of information. Excel can produce all sorts of charts with very little time or effort needed. In fact, Sometimes it's a bit too easy to produce a chart in Excel. Here's the data from the budget example displayed as a pie chart. So we can easily see who's spending the biggest slice of petty cash. And the output from that list of invoices displayed as a pivot table gives us a clear idea where our costs are heading. Oops. So, calculations lists and charts. Those are the three ways in which Excel can help you. I hope you enjoy the training sessions in this series and you find them useful. Oh, by the way, I was only joking about the pain and suffering. Well, the pain bit, anyway. Thank you for watching.